Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Tuesday the 7th of December 2021. First prize for getting the date right. So the moon is moving from Capricorn into Aquarius at 11.48 in the UK. Okay, I can deal with that. I like both. I like Capricorn moon, I like an Aquarius moon. Capricorn moon means I get stuff done. Aquarius moon means I kind of become more sort of flitty and sociable and that's nice and today I've talked myself into it I think I said that I was going to do this yesterday I'm going to do the oracle of house or home by Zoe Jane alongside tarot of the 78 doors I know it's like a DIY tarot program can you imagine that like those you know like those programs where you fix up houses with celebrities or you just got like a whole knackered house and then you make it look nice and we could do that but at the same time we could do it using tarot that would be great it would be like eight of pentacles you need a walk-in wardrobe you need a safe you need a bank inside your house you need somewhere to keep your money that would be good 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 okay hmm. mind ticking over let me know if you've got any thoughts in the comments section along with what you're having for breakfast, anytime you want to tell me that, actually, or lunch or dinner, you know, whichever way it goes. I am obsessed with food and cooking, even though I still haven't quite brought myself to cook. My porridge at the moment, it has dried cranberries in it, and those are proving really successful. Anywho, so this has come up a lot. I did a big shuffle and we got the lair. And by now we know that the lair is the devil card because it's number 15, isn't it? Yes, XV. XV, then Roman numerals, number 15. What is, I say the word tempting. It's not always tempting with the devil. It's what is drawing you in, you know? Tempting is a bit different because tempting sounds kind of like, hmm, pistachio ice cream. Yes, go on, you know? Whereas, being drawn in is more like, I don't really know why I'm doing this and I can't stop it, you know? Not always that much difference with ice cream, actually. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you end up with, I don't really know why I'm doing this and I can't stop it. Maybe it's the same. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, Tower of the 78 Doors. Oh, Christ. Do you know what? Oh, it's weird. I talked about having a Capricorn moon. And having a Capricorn moon makes me sometimes spiritually second, not second guess myself, but just go, oh, come on, you know, be sensible, um, which I think a lot of Capricorns do, even though Capricorns have a very developed psychic side as well, which no one ever talks about. And when I was doing Tarot of 78 Doors and we got the lair, I thought we're going to get the devil card. And then we get the devil card and then I'm like, oh, my God. We got the devil card. I'm like, you knew you were going to get the devil card, did I? Yep. Talking about yourself in the third person. Eight of swords in the reverse. Quite like that. Here we have somebody doing the walk of shame and a phantom following them down the staircase. And it's in the reverse, which is good because the eight of swords is a bit like the devil card. What's holding you back? It's your mental limiting beliefs. Sometimes with the devil card, it indicates to me, and let's have a look, you see at the devil card. Sometimes with the devil card, I look to ancestral stuff and families because it goes quite deep. You know, it's major arcana. This is the stuff that you might not want to think about. The stuff that you that might run you, but you don't consciously always know how to pinpoint it it can be toxic relationships at work you know let's say let's say you have a series of jobs in your life which most people do particularly in a younger age you tend to have more jobs higher turnover and you keep attract you keep getting the same boss you know a person who's difficult picky narcissistic whatever it is after a while, you have to ask yourself, or maybe you don't, how is this happening? The common denominator in this is me. And this doesn't mean that you are causing this, but 
it's worth being curious about how you're bringing it in in some way. What is it that adds to that chemistry? And it's important not to do this when you're in a bad place because then you end up with a whole kind of, I'm always doing this. I am not again. It's like, oh, that whole Homer Simpson oh, type thing. It's not about blame game. It's about being curious and it's about discovering how to become free in any of those situations, romantic relationships, work relationships, whatever it is, okay? We also have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands can be someone who's a bit diva-esque, a bit bossy. God, it's quite sunny today. I'm going to try and put it there. Um, tell you what, let's, let's do, let's close the curtain one moment. We're going to do it. Okay, very highly technical here at Gemstone Tarot. The lighting is the sun. <laughs> we use the sun. Um, and then when you don't want it, you use a curtain. Yes, that's it. One day I'll learn how to use lighting in a video. But that is for another day. See, this is much better. Okay, Queen of Wands in reverse. You might be dealing with somebody, could be a man or a woman, who's a bit stroppy, who is a bit petty, who's a bit difficult, or that might be you. I know, that's what I mean. Um, we all have days when we're feeling like this. We're feeling a bit salty, you know? It's like, the, them's the days, aren't they? We can't be sweetness and light every day. Is it them or is it you? This is an important question to be asking today. Something might come up along the lines. It could even be like talking to someone on the phone who's, you know, in a call centre or something, and it's like, is it them, is it me? You know, am I just having a really difficult day or is this a really difficult call, you know? Four of Swords in the reverse. Yes. Anxiety. There is a sense of unrest. It feels a bit jangly. I don't think it's anything particularly more than that. And this could also, sorry, I've got an itchy nose again. This could also be um, something that crops up on social media, something that crops up over the internet, an email, a text, something like that. Because we have the navel, the page of swords. And this is the card sort of of the spy, but for me, it's become very much more a card of secondhand information, rumours or social media, seeing something through a lens, through a third party, you know. Um, so, yeah, it could be something that annoys you on social media, something that annoys you on a text, whatever. It doesn't have to be face to face. And then Major Arcana Temperance. Play with the energies and that includes the difficult energies. Play with the fact that you might be wrong. Explore it, okay? And explore the fact that you might be right and wrong both at the same time, or that you just have, you're just having a bad day and there's nothing anyone can do that's ever gonna be okay, and you need to get back into the thing we talked about with the ice cream at the beginning, or whatever your thing is. You know, not everybody needs a tub of ice cream to set them straight. I do. Ace of Swords. Clarity is necessary clarify what's going on you might clarify doesn't mean change because as humans we're like i can identify it and then i can conquer it i can change it we don't have to change it and in fact when you come to accept something especially yourself and especially yourself in all your ugly glory on your bad days Things tend to look up, actually. Other people tend to accept you, or you just don't attract as much difficult energy. Have you ever noticed, and I have noticed this, and I don't really know what it means. I sort of do. That's clear, isn't it? Um, that when I'm really having a bad day, you know those where you really could, like, you could tip a car, given a, the slightest provocation, it'd be like, Hulk like that I find that I attract people bumping into me in the street I attract shop assistants being like really nasty or unreasonable and that isn't something I normally experience 
at that point I realise I'm not fit for human consumption and I need to go home and just take myself out of the equation and let it pass you know do whatever I need to do to just let it pass or if you're stuck in an office at work get your head down into something and stop interacting if you're in a meeting don't chip in do you know what I mean because it it may be salty it may be it may open a can of worms that the next day just aren't there okay so it's about acceptance and what are these called I haven't got the box for these Colette Baron Reed animal spirit cards I think spirit 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 cards nightingale spirit love is all around it might be hard to believe that today but honestly if you can get yourself in that mindset you will reap the rewards leave me a comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow namaste